If you've been withdrawing your Bitcoin off exchanges into self-custody once every week, all of your Bitcoin is going to be useless. And this is because of a super technical esoteric thing that no one wants to talk about called UTXOs. You can think of a UTXO like a dollar bill. A UTXO is basically the smallest unit of a Bitcoin and all UTXOs are the same amount of data, but they're not the same amount of money. You could have a $5 UTXO or a $50 UTXO or a $5 million UTXO. And the problem is if you've been withdrawing your Bitcoin to cold storage on a regular basis, the dollar amount of your UTXOs are probably really small. You probably have a bunch of $5 UTXOs or $10 UTXOs or $20 UTXOs. And it means that in the future, when the fees on the main chain of Bitcoin get really, really high because of something stupid like inscriptions or ordinals, you're going to be unable to spend any of your money versus the guy that withdrew a single $100,000 UTXO or a single $1,000 UTXO, he's gonna have no problem paying for goods and services with his Bitcoin. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can consolidate your UTXOs using Sparrow Wallet, whether your Bitcoin is on a Ledger Nano X or a Trezor Model T or even a Cold Card Mark IV. Go down below and smash the like button for not getting rug pulled by maximalist podcasters and let's level up your brains. All right, guys, so I've got my Sparrow wallet here with my Ledger Nano X loaded up on it. And you can see that I have six different UTXOs in the wallet. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to consolidate these five smaller UTXOs down here at the bottom into one single UTXO. And again, if you have any questions about why we're doing any of this, check out that video that I linked up in the cards that talks about the relationship between the number of UTXOs that you're feeding into these Bitcoin transactions and the amount of fees that you're gonna be paying. And you'll have to bear with me here on Sparrow wallet. I've tried to zoom this in as much as possible, but it's a really awkward configuration. There is no accessibility within Sparrow Wallet to zoom in and give you guys a better picture here. So I'm gonna try to go as slow as possible. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is once the wallet is loaded up, I'm gonna head over here to UTXOs over on the left so that I can see all the UTXOs in my wallet. Next, once I'm in this UTXOs tab, I'm going to highlight all of the UTXOs that I want to go ahead and consolidate into one single big UTXO. And then I'm gonna come down here to the bottom right and I'm gonna click on send selected. And so now where am I going to send these selected UTXOs? UTXOs, I don't want to have to send it to another wallet that I control just so that I can send it all the way back to this ledger so that I'm going to be paying these fees twice. Instead, I'm actually going to send it to just another one of the addresses on my ledger. Next, we're going to head over to this addresses tab here on the left, and we're going to select the first address that has never been used for anything. So we can go ahead and right click on this address. And then to confirm that this address actually belongs to an address that's controllable by our ledger Nano X, we can go ahead and click on sign slash verify message. And if you notice just a little bit of a difference in the colors of my Sparrow wallets, because I actually just upgraded to the latest version of Sparrow wallet in the last little segment of the video here. And the reason that I did that was before I did that, if your ledger firmware is not up to date or if your Sparrow wallet is not up to date, you might get an issue trying to sign messages and confirm that these addresses are actually associated with your hardware wallet. So because we've gone and updated everything now, we shouldn't be getting those errors anymore. And so now to confirm that this address actually corresponds to my ledger, I can just type in a message here like this is a test. And then I can go ahead and click on sign down here. And if we're open in the Bitcoin app on our Ledger Nano Xs, we should be seeing this blue sign message button right here. And once I click that, I'm seeing on my Ledger Nano X, a little thing that says sign message. And then if I go right, I can see the derivation path and I can see the message hash. And then I'll go ahead and click both buttons to sign the message. And then if I click on this verify button here in Sparrow Wallet, we can see this notification that the address that we are about to send these funds to does in fact belong to the Ledger Nano X. So now that we've done this very important security step, we can go ahead and click on done and then right click here on the address that we just verified and click on copy address and then head back over to send and paste this address in the sending of our five UTXOs. And then we'll give this a label and we'll call it UTXO consolidation YouTube demo. And once we give it a label, we can see the UTXO model show up down here. We can see that we're putting in five UTXOs here on the left and on the right, we're paying a little bit of a fee and we're getting one UTXO on the back end. So we should be getting this one UTXO and it should show up just normally in our Sparrow wallets as if it was any other transaction. So next I'm gonna slide this to show up in one block. I'm gonna pay the highest fees just for demo purposes so that this can go a little faster. If you're doing this on your end, you can do this in four blocks or five blocks or something later if you're willing to wait that long and if the fee market on Bitcoin right now isn't that crazy. I definitely recommend double checking your fees with mempool.space so that you can just be confident that eventually your transaction will actually get sent. Next, we'll come down here to the bottom right and we'll click on create transaction. 
and then we'll click on finalize transaction for signing again seeing the same utxo model where we're taking five inputs and only getting one output and then we can go ahead and click here on sign we'll sign with the ledger nano x we'll review the first output here it looks like that is the right bitcoin amount i'm double checking the address right now and it looks like that is the correct address and now we'll go ahead and approve the transaction and so now we can see here on the screen, we have signed the transaction and now we can click on broadcast transaction. And then we'll go ahead and copy this transaction ID and head over to mempool.space. And we'll just pop this transaction ID here into mempool.space and see that our block should be mined in about 11 minutes. And that when we're done, we will have taken these five UTXO inputs and gotten this one UTXO output. So finally, just to prove to you guys here that this works, you can see that if I enter the UTXOs tab for my Ledger Nano X here, we can see that I no longer have those five separate UTXOs. I now have the one UTXO that I didn't touch at the beginning of the video, and then the second UTXO that is the consolidation of the first five UTXOs. And keep in mind, you could do this by like sending this between two totally separate wallets. I could send this from my Ledger Nano X over to a cold card Mark IV or something like that, but it's a lot easier to just consolidate consolidate all of the UTXOs within one single wallet. That way you're not having to like send things back and forth. I don't need to pay fees twice. I don't need to think about like how much money is in each wallet. I can just consolidate UTXOs within a single wallet and then have more spendable money for the future. Comment down below and let me know if this video was helpful for you guys. I do still respond to all the comments and let me know if you guys are interested in a UTXO sizing video where I give you advice and come up with a framework for teaching you how to think about how big of a UTXO you should be carrying around. And if you want early written access to all of the content on this channel, Go down in the description, subscribe to the blog where you can get all of this stuff and more a little bit earlier than everyone else. If you want to learn more about UTXOs and why we do these consolidations in the first place, check out this video right over here. And if your transaction has been stuck in the mempool for a really long time, you want to learn how you can speed up that transaction, check out these videos right over here. That's it for today. I love you all. See you next week.